I have two two different thoughts on this. One is that you you have two a couple who are living down in Phoenix, and Grandma is ninety five and she lives in Iowa, and they'd like to get married in front of Grandma, but she can't travel, so they say, "Hey, we'll go home to our hometown church, mm-hmm. and we'll get married there." Okay, so they can't anymore. Yeah. That's a restriction of liberty. That's not yeah. what we're about. Because your second, your political class is gutless. No, they can't. That's right. Yeah. And the second real big one is I I do not want to in any way codify what the Supreme Court has dictated. That's right. I don't want to take their law. I'm accepting the premise then that it, therefore homosexuals right. can at least marry in Iowa. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm not going to do that. On no front do I want to give them credence that their ruling. And I think was both of us would urge everybody listening right now if you're if you have a rhino legislator that proposes that as the solution to this, crack the whip. Tar and feather would yep. would maybe be something that Samuel Adams might suggest.